Hey guys, what's going on? Mike here with another video. Thought it'd be a good time to step away from the stress of the presidential election. Um, do something fun here on the horror channel. So my original plan was to go over the Never Hike in the Snow fan film for this week. Um, and I still might do that later in the week. But um, I came across an interesting question today uh, on Dave McRae's Facebook. Um, if you don't follow him, it's McCray live on YouTube. Um, he asked an interesting question and I'll put it up here for you guys. Um, he asked, should Halloween three season of the witch get a remake or a sequel? Um, so that got me really thinking about what I would want to do with a remake or a sequel. Um, didn't really like the sequel idea. Um, so I posted my response to that, and I said, I think a remake, but they should just call it Season of the Witch, though a series could be interesting. Um, so someone commented back, uh, I won't say who, but they, um, their response was, no, Halloween needs to be in the title as it's about Halloween. So my response to that is a movie or show can be about Halloween and not have the word Halloween in its title, right? Um, look at House of a Thousand Corpses, though not necessarily about Halloween. It takes place on the day Halloween, you know, so that's just one example. Um, so my, arg my argument here is that the title, when it comes to film, the title Halloween is tied to Michael Myers, right? So when they initially titled this movie Halloween 3, that was its demise right there, right? Because think about it. Halloween 1 was a success over time, not immediate, right? It was a slow success. Halloween 2 was a massive uh, success right away because uh, how part 1 caught on. So people rushed to the theaters expecting to see uh, Michael Myers, excuse me, expecting to see Michael Myers um, in part three, and that never happened, right? Um, so let's take a quick look at the numbers here. Box Office Mojo. It's an interesting site. So opening weekend for Halloween 3 season of The Witch was 6.3 million in just over 1,200 theaters. Uh, total gross for its run in the theater was 14.4 million. And we're not including DVD releases, VHS releases, Blu-ray releases, right? So just talking theaters at the time of its release in 1982. So it was a massive failure, right? Compared to its budget. People wanted to see Michael Myers and that didn't happen. Word catches on. So my argument here is that Essentially, the same thing might happen again, though now we have social media and word might get around a little bit better than it would have in 1982, right? Um, but ultimately, now we have Halloween relaunched again. We've Halloween 2018, uh, direct sequel to Halloween 1978. Then we have Halloween Kills coming out October of next year. Halloween ends the year after that, right? So Michael Myers is back. If they were to remake Halloween 3, they would have to just name it Season of the Witch or something else completely. That's the only way this is going to work because um, people are going to expect Michael Myers in a Halloween film. So you have to separate that completely, which is what uh, John Carpenter's plan was originally, right? Carpenter did not want to do another Myers film. He didn't even want to do the second film. Um, he kind of got talked into it for the sake of not losing any money, right? So... He completely, uh, as part of his contract to come back, separated the Halloween 3 uh, storyline. Um, ultimately, they would they would have to drop the, the Halloween title for this to work. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have the same thing happen again. Um, so that's my argument there. Um, it does go a little bit further and steps away from Halloween 3 a little bit, and I'll let you guys in on that. So... His argument back was, I'd rather see every sequel after Halloween 3 erase Halloween from its title as they are a lot worse. All right, so now that's the opposite effect, right? Again, 
the title Halloween is synonymous with Michael Myers. You start releasing films about Michael Myers without the Halloween uh, title in it. You're just doing more damage to it. From a business standpoint, that's just not going to work. Um, so that conversation kind of goes on a little bit. But I, I just want to let you guys um, in on that little Facebook exchange there. Because I found uh, this point interesting. But I just don't think it would work. Um, so now moving forward into uh, should Halloween 3 get a remake? Um, I'm going to say yes. I think it's it's definitely time, but it has to be done right. Um, you know, I'm a fan of the original. As, as bad as it was back in 1982 and through the 90s, didn't get a lot of love, right? It's kind of secured its fan base over time, and now it's got this cult following. Um, now would be a good time to remake, but I wouldn't do it in the form of a movie. I think there's a lot more story to be told. Um I would probably do it in like an Amazon series or a Netflix series or maybe even uh, straight to shutter. That would be a, a good option. Um, I'm not one for, for backstory. I don't like a ton of backstory when it comes to uh, horror films. I kind of like the idea of not knowing why certain things are happening in the film. Um, I think it adds to the scare factor, but Halloween three you know, if you look back at the movie, uh, you look at uh, Dr. Dr. Cochran, right? Um, there's so much story that can be told there. We, we don't really know a whole lot about him. We know about the uh, the powers coming from Stonehenge, and he brings the, the giant stone over, and that's how he's powering all these chips in the mass to uh, explode and things like that. But they've been around hundreds of years, or maybe it was thousands of years, some, something to that effect. Um, they could probably do an entire season alone just on what happened a few hundred years ago uh, during uh, whatever was going on back then when they were trying to bring that stone over, right? Um, there's a lot of story that could be told uh, regarding that side of it. So you could probably get a whole season just out of the, the old stuff. Um, by the time you hit season two, they could probably focus more on some of the kids um, that wasn't really focused on. We, we saw a lot of Dr. Dan Chalice. Uh, we saw the the old man's daughter. I forget her name. Uh, a lot of that going on and trying to hunt down uh, Dr. Cochran and going to Santa Mira and the factory and all that. We saw so much of that. But the whole point of these masks where they were selling them to kids and then it was killing these kids, right? But we don't see a whole lot of that in this movie. We see a, a small portion of that where uh, Dr. Cochran makes Dan uh, Chalice watch the family in the uh, little viewing room or observation room. And he takes out the family with the, the masks. Um that's really all we see. And then the very ending where he's yelling, stop it. And it cuts to black. And we never know if he's able to stop the commercial from playing and stop the mass from exploding. Right. Um, so I think we could definitely put some more emphasis on, on some of the kids, like maybe having a specific set of kids that are involved in the storyline. Um, that would be good for maybe a season two. And then maybe by the time we hit season three, we're starting to, finally figure out something about uh, Dr. Cochran, right? So there's so much story that can be told, that can be added to Season of the Witch. Um, but I definitely wouldn't call it Halloween 3 for sure. Um, and that's really it. I just wanted to kind of air out my thoughts on that topic. I found it very interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And um if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you have been watching any of the videos, thank you uh, for watching. I'm just getting started on the channel here. Um, and I plan to try to do this maybe every couple of weeks if I can. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.